N6TLU here in the shack with a Hammerlin HQ160 receiver. Hammerlin made some great receivers. Unfortunately, from about the 160 on back, they had some audio problems and some other problems that we'll discuss later. But today, I'm going to concentrate on their audio gain issue. So let me show you what this receiver is doing and let me give you a solution. So here she is, the 160, receiving WWV on 10 megahertz. Now watch how the audio works on this receiver. Obviously we have no audio. We'll bring her up. It's pretty dead. Coming up. It's okay. Now watch here. Nothing there. Then boom. It's like all the gain is in the last, say, 25% of the pot. There's a reason for that. So let me show you what it is. Well, back in the day when these receivers were built, Hammerlin came out with a neat feature called Audio Response, and it utilized negative feedback. Now, if you take a look at your schematic, you'll see what I'm talking about. I'm going to show you how to remove that and make this thing act as a normal communications receiver with pretty much linear gain for audio response. So here's the audio section. Let me go through it a little bit. Right here, you've got a 12AX7. Here is your 6AQ5 output tube. Here is your audio pot, okay? On the audio pot, you're going to see a 100 ohm resistor, and over here, this little 47 ohm resistor. That's the negative bias network. That has to come out, okay? Next thing is you got this little crappy couplet, as they call it. And this thing you'll find in a bunch of low-end AM5 tube receivers. It was a way to reduce cost. That has to come out. Also, if you take a look at your uh, audio output tube, you're going to see there's a line here that goes over to the filter cap. That goes to a 25 microfarad cap. We're going to clip that and install a 47 microfarad cap to ground to increase your low-end audio. So let me go through the process. I'm going to make the changes and then I'm going to show you a schematic of what you'll end up with and you'll end up with some beautiful audio. Step one, let's get rid of the negative feedback. So you're going to cut this 100 ohm resistor and down here you're going to see a 47 ohm resistor. I'm going to cut those out of the circuit. That's R43 and 44 and then you're going to wire the low side of the audio pot direct to ground. All right, next step, you're going to see this point .005 cap. It's strapped between the plate and the screen. You're going to want to remove it. Next step, here's that couplet we were talking about. Clip that thing out of there. We're going to replace it with two resistors and a cap. Here's the components that replace the couplet. You've got two 470K resistors and one 0.047 microfarad cap, 400 volts or greater. New resistors and capacitor are installed. Couplet's gone. Last step, we're going to cut this brown wire and replace it with a 47 microfarad cap. Last step complete, 47 microfarad caps installed, which will give you a little better low end on your audio. So everything's wired up. Took me about 10 minutes to do the whole job. Let's hook it up and test it. All right, the modification's complete. Now watch my audio gain. By the rise of intelligent machines are just three examples. So if, for Only about reason, a quarter of the way up, civilization does pass into history, there will be survivors. I've at least Question, doubled the volume on this receiver. Us, be able to learn it has nice low ends. It's a great and little improvement for your receiver. But in this case, so if you take a look at the diagram here I've posted, you can see that the modification is very straightforward. It'll cost you probably less than a dollar to do this to your Hammerland. Now this uh, update is not only good for the 160, but you'll find the same circuitry in many models that they made under the 160. Don't bother on the 170 and the 180, they've corrected all the audio issues.
Well, I hope this information was useful to you. I'm going to be posting more information about the 160 receiver. Since I have it on the bench, I'm going to go through it with a fine tooth comb and find out what else that I can show you to help you make yours a better receiver. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.